Fall from Charger. I wonder if this is the same Guinness chocolate I used to get from the 99 pence store. The 99 pence store, I hope so. This is from Home Bargains. These are rather nice. Sunday tonight. Waiting for Sailing By if they're going to play it. And here's Quintessa, one of my latest acquisitions from the fashionista's world. Oh, and very nice she is too. I like the way the dollies look in the, well I was going to say lamplight, but that's what it's not strictly lamplight, is it? Oh. Yes, sailing by. This is BBC Radio 4 and it's now time for the shipping forecast issued by the Met Office on behalf of the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency at 0015 on Monday the 19th of February. There are warnings of gales in... Oh, I'm not well. I've got this haul to do. I don't know what it is, whether it's flow or what. I've, I've got another massive haul. I don't know where to start. And uh, <coughs> I'm sorry I'm just in the dressing gown again, but I have, haven't been well. I don't know if it's flu or what it is. I always thought flu was when you had like a really, really bad cold and ached all over. and that. But th th it's not a cold. It's like inflammation all over my head or something. It's pain behind my ears, back of my neck. Um, <clears throat> I didn't feel right Friday night. But I went to bed and, woke and got to sleep, and I did go to sleep, and I woke up in a cold sweat, and I felt better. I thought, oh, it's, whatever it was, it's gone. So I went out, and I was fine, and then I came out of Asda that night. I just touched the side of my head, and I thought, oh, there's something it's painful. And after touching it and pressing it slightly, it, the pain stayed there for ages. It wouldn't wait. It wouldn't a headache. And it's like all right down behind your ears and up over the back of your head and the back of your neck. And um, and then I was really bad again. Oh, it's, 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 
woke up with another cold sweat and I woke up with another cold sweat today. It's Monday today and um, yeah, it's no sign of going so I don't know what it is. Anyhow, look, I went to Home Bargains on Saturday. Probably shouldn't have gone out. I didn't realise I wasn't well. I thought it was gone. I got this from Home Bargains. Nice nail polish. See, I still haven't done my nails. I don't know whether I use those or not just to do any swatches today because it might make me cough because things like that do. <coughs> I hope I've got pneumonia. People have said to me recently that I've had pneumonia. Oh look, I've got two. I've got another one of these somewhere. I never ate the one I got Saturday and I never ate the one I got the other week because I forgot to have them from Marks and Spencers. This from Marks and Spencers as well. Not tried those before. They look nice. Dark chocolate lemon and lime Jaffa cakes. I'm just getting the mundane stuff out of the way. These are delicious. These are the ones and different wrap wrapping that I used to get from the dear old 99 pence store. My goodness. Got some lip balms in here as well. Ah! Guinness. We have some music quietly in the background. As long as I talk all over it so that the YouTube bots don't recognise anything, otherwise I'll get one of those horrendous copyrighted content was found in your video. Ads will play. Blah blah blah, etc. etc. Anyhow, copyright home lock. Lip balm. 99 pence. Baby lips. Chai tea latte and home bargains. Lip smacker. Bubble gum. We're looking very washed out. I am sorry. And Blistex. Happy lips. Mouth watering mango. Oh yeah. Clear bum. So I'll put those back in this bag. So I've now done those. And um, this is all the stuff from Asda. Some of the stuff from Asda. Barbie colour changing mug. Now, according to this one there, it's showing two of the fashionista girls. The one I've called Blodwin, and I don't know the other one, but I can't remember who, who can't tell who it is. But on the side, they're showing two totally different ones, so I don't know who's going to show up when you make the mug hot with a hot, hot liquid what's this I got a cardigan 13 to 14 years <laughs> I'll show it to you in a minute just to get these necklaces oh dear nice necklaces from George Asda see Asda's getting my trade now after Sainsbury's upset me the way they did by taking my trolley away that I'd use every week for about five, at least five years. So that's a nice necklace. All the supermarket trolleys are too too low for me. I have to stoop slightly, and um, I'm not exceptionally tall, but I do have problems with my spine, and um, I think the supermarket trolleys are made with like people about five foot four in mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm not six foot or anything like that, but I think I'm about five nine, five maybe five eight, five ten. I don't know. I, I don't. I'm not really that interested to find out. But I only think I'm an average height. But um, these trolleys, I have to stoop slightly, and where I get problems with my spine, I have to be so careful. And most of the supermarket trolleys, I can't hang on to them. I have to keep pushing them ahead in front of me and letting go of them and pushing them. But this particular one, I could hold on to it all the time. It was like just here. And the basket on it was just like there. And it was comfortable for me to walk with and I had no problem. And then from one week of using one that wasn't the same, I ended up with a back problem that lasted a week. And it's the way they treated me over it as well that, that was all... I won't go into all again now because I've mentioned it before. Anyhow, um, the bag that ha these had, the, this bag that contained these, 
was up on top of something in my room downstairs, the front room, and it fell down in the night or sometime, and of course, so they were all shaken up. Because this bag had fallen down, upside down like that, so... Yeah, this is a nice necklace from Asda. You do get some nice things in Asda, but it's a bit out of the way for me. I haven't really got one in my area, in local vicinity, so I'll be glad of the way. Still, um, <laughs> nice pencil cases, but I should put other things in here, not just you know, they'll be useful for like makeup bags or storing stuff in or things. I'm always so lack of storage space. I'm trying to rush through this as quickly as I can. This is a nice little one. This was, I think this was a pound in Asda. George pencil case. It's pretty. It's got glitter sparkle in it. Not the sort of glitter that comes off. It's embedded in the plastic. I know there's far too much plastic, I know that. I know, but this is the Cardi. Uh, hanging loops are for presentation purposes only. For safety reasons, please remove before wear. Well, I was to George.com. It's £14. Pound. 13 to 14 years. It's got sparkle in. I doubt that's showing up. I doubt you can see it, but it has got sparkle in it. It's very nice. I, shall, I won't try it on. I, shall, I don't want to take my dressing gown off. I keep going all sort of... The other night, when I got back, I sat and I was shaking, literally shaking with cold. I was right in front of the heater, which was full on, and I was shaking with cold. I couldn't stop shaking and shivering. I thought, what was the matter with me? This is nice from Asda. I went a bit mad, and uh, I always do, though. I go to, like, when I occasionally go to Tesco, I go mad. And mind you, I did see a load of shoppies, and that's why I got the ones I wanted when I was there. But, you know, I've, I went to Argos, and they had two lots of new shoppy dolls in their catalogue. So there were eight altogether, two lots of four in each lot. And they had one of each set in stock. None of the four in each set did I have. So there were eight shoppies that none of them did I have. So I said, oh, good. So they brought them down. And what did they bring down? Pippa Melon and, um, oh, oh C C Pinky Cola, which are both very nice, but both of which I already have. And when the lady in the store then did a search for those, it came up not found. So Argos's ridiculous ordering system, they bring down something that uh, everything's wrong, must be listed wrong or given a wrong number or something, and it's old stock, and the new ones, which th th you think you're getting, they don't, it's not even the same as a random pick, where you, you know if it's a random pick. It's like that time when I tried to order the Pippa Mel um, I mean the Peppermint Gelati Scooter playset. That's what came up on the on their website, and you order it, and then you go in there and you get Lippy Lulu. But that was different because they did eventually put her in the order page to show that that's what you could get as well, even though it was very small. So most people would have overlooked it because it did come up as the gelati playset. But the ridiculous ordering system of Argos. All the different, all the times I've been to that Argos, I've only ever twice come out with something I went in there for. So now I, I have a feeling of dread before I even enter the place. Anyhow, look, isn't that pretty? So I've got a gold-coloured one and a silver-coloured one, and that's both from Asda. And they're out until midnight, which is very useful because there's buses late coming from there, so. Nice bag I got from Asda, with butterfly on it, but tortoiseshell, probably, I don't know what it is, um, I don't know, it's not a red animal, I do know that, I've got some lovely throws, George Home faux fur throw, well, I should think it was a faux fur, I mean you wouldn't get an animal with real fur this colour unless it's been dyed. Oh, this is lovely. Can you see the actual colour of it? I'll undo it to show it to you. 
you know, people who like to see halls. And you know, I think I can honestly say there isn't a dolly in sight. So not one doll is to be seen in this video unless I choose to get one of my dollies and I'm going to because I can I was going to say not a doll to be seen but yeah there is now <laughs> she got a lovely sparkly dress on I haven't named her yet I know it's a Chelsea doll but um I've already got a Chelsea one called Chelsea did I show did I show Marlise and her new crows I'm digressing, aren't I? So let's get back to this. I don't think I can... Oh, those stupid plastic tags on everything. This is nice. Because they're not very big, because they are probably meant for, for kids, but... This one looks like that's on the back. I wouldn't... Good job. I'm glad I haven't got this on the bed at the moment because when I'm waking up in a cold sweat, the whole bed was damp and clammy. So I was having to try and go back to sleep in a cold, clammy, damp bed. <laughs> all the bed clothes were all wet with sweat, but I was in cold sweat. It's hot. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is that's causing this problem. But all the top of my, all over my head, it's on the back now. All over my head feels tender to the touch and painful. Some sort of inflammation of the head, I don't know. Bunny Princess Fleece. You don't want to hear about my troubles. You only want to see the items I bought. Bunny Princess Fleece. I hope everyone else is okay and doing well. <coughs> I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Of course, there are worse things you can get. But I really have felt under the weather. I never feel that well. They've had one thing after another these days. I've, I've had so much stress. And maybe that causes your immune system to weaken. So you're more susceptible to things. Oh, come on. I can't undo this stupid little bow. Oh, dear. There we go. Is this one patterned on both sides? No, it's sort of faded on that side, but it's very nice. Very pretty. You see that? I have got a picture on screen, so I can see myself as lovely and soft. But then it would be, wouldn't it? Oh! Hateful rustling. I can't stand it. If anyone thinks it's ASMR inducing listening to rustling, then, oh, I can't stand it. Not when it's, you know, because it, this picks, this webcam picks it up so loud, so that's all you hear, that you hear that above everything. When there's rustling, it drowns out everything, because this picks it up for some reason. Anyhow, this one's lovely. Throw. Feel how soft I am, it says. And it's got alpacas on it. How lovely is that? Alpacas, llamas, or... It's got a nice pink ribbon on as well. Let me undo. I wish they wouldn't put these nasty little tiles. This one, well, that didn't have it. That was good. That didn't have it. No, is this an adult sized one? I want. Oh, no, it's plain on that side as well. That's a shame. The pattern doesn't transfer to both sides. Yeah, it's white on the back. But still, isn't it pretty? Isn't that lovely? Alpacas. I held off from buying an alpaca fleece because I can't get any anywhere that I've seen. It, and um, it would mean ordering one from Japan or but and uh, so I never did get one. But I think has the interest in those died out a bit now. Alpaca this, alpaca that, alpacas everywhere. Got some pegs. This is one of the things I collect. Different coloured pegs. I've got a load of the things. I've got one black peg, which I found somewhere one day. So I've got one black peg. I think it was there. For, I think Tesco did them. And I've got a grey peg with Addis written on it, which I also found. Anyhow, this nice light shade, easy fit unicorns and rainbows light shade. George home. Isn't that pretty. See, because I've got a bear. 
I'm not going to move it, but take my... You've seen it before. I've got a bare daylight bulb, light bulb it, on the ceiling. And um, mind you, I, I used to have a red a red cone-shaped light bulb, plastic light shade from Habitat, red, which is more like a kitchen one. And it used to shade all the top of the sea, the, the, the room in here to make everything shadowy at the top. But so I, this one's got open top so it might not make so much shade but it probably will if it makes a shade all around a funny shadow on the wall all around the room I'm, I'm talking I'm talking and at the same time I'm realize I've just realized this has got cellophane all over it and even though I can hardly hear the noise this is making this is probably picking it up so that when you hear me, there'll be a load of crackling and rustling all over me talking, and you'll hear that more than what I'm trying to say. So that's that one. One more bag to go. This is a nice bag. I got this from Home Bargains. Um, is that a... Uh, there's green finches, those green ones, and I don't know if that, I think that's a cold hit. Neat and tidy, the storage collection. Got that from Home Bargains. Quite nice. It's a storage container, as you can see. Chock a block of things. I'll have to put some light uh, batteries in here to show you this lovely. I'll get him, get him out for her in a minute to show you. And also, this was um reduced because the top was missing or that they they came with yellow tops with a straw attached and i wasn't bothered about that they were 199 this one was 150 and when i went to pay for it none of the barcodes worked so the manager had to go and trot off along into the store and, and come back and so yeah that's um quite nice you can see all the sparkle anyhow let me show you this pretty unicorn so pretty, it's lovely light. It's pretty, pretty unicorn. We have reflections going on. When I was in there, this was the one that was the display model. This was, I saw that first, it was the display model. So I took some out of the boxes because when I, you know, there's no batteries in, so it um, didn't light up. But when I took the other, when I looked in the boxes to see if the others thought perhaps the batteries have gone where people keep using them in the store to light them up but I checked two in the boxes and they didn't light up either so I was going to buy one new in the box you see but when I opened the boxes the ones in the boxes had so much glitter on there that it looked more silvery grey than the pink the pink didn't show up much and this one I think where she's been handled so much you know loads of people have handled her the glitters come off and in a way it makes it look better because you can see the pink more so after mucking around for ages I eventually put this one in a display box and took the one in the box out and put that one as the display model and then I took the one that was the display model because they probably have thought no one would want to buy that because it was a display model and it probably would have been reduced in time but I wanted it because it looked pinker so so pretty i shall find some lights and put some batteries i mean to put in i've got a the triple a batteries i shall put some in light light her up and i'll be back put these aa batteries in and and she doesn't light up so i hope it's just that the batteries are too old and not the fact that you know maybe she's fallen down so many times in the store you know what kids are like throwing things around and um, I hope that it's not that, that she's not going to work. I'll have to get some new batteries and see if they work. I'm just at least looking for those. I found uh, Susie's bracelet that I dropped, so I've given it to this one now. She's a nice sparkly girl, so she can have that. Oh, I thought I had some more AA ba triple A batteries somewhere, but I can't find them. And I'm sure those ones were all right because they were working not long ago in some lights so um yeah oh this does look washed out 
Yeah, at the moment I can't find anything that takes triple A batteries to test those batteries in. But um, <coughs> we haven't seen him for a long time, have we? Oh, sweet little pumpkin. He came from the 99 pence store, little pumpkin did. Cute. Oh, the bag is called Botanical Discovery. There's a bee on there, look. It's got bees on the bag somewhere. There's a little bee. Or is it a hoverfly? It might be a hoverfly. They're very beneficial little insects, hoverflies. A lot of people think they're wasps, but they're not. But even, what you know, wasps. A lot of people don't like wasps, and they're very beneficial as well. Especially hoverflies, though. They really are for the garden. The alpacas. I'm so behind with my haul videos. I've got three to make up before even this one goes in, but I'm trying my best. I really am. That's pretty though. Very nice. The nail polishes are by Cocktail Parlour, whoever they are, and they've got a pretty flamingo on the packaging. Or flamingos, rather. And shells on the side. There we are. Pretty flamingo. Pretty packaging. And there's the polishes. I'll do swatches of these when I'm feeling a bit better. I'm not going to do them now, obviously. The video's already long enough, so... But these are rather nice, though. I, I hope they're going to be prom, prom, promising and covering in one coat. Nice colours, especially those three. A pretty flamingo. There's a little somebody down there. I can see a little personage down there on that really big. Silly little somebody standing on her dish so I can't put the food on there, can I? And silly always standing on dishes. Always standing on dish. Oh, so pretty. Oh, we've got new dollies. But uh, more to the point, I've put batteries. I got another one and um, that one didn't work, the old one. But the e lights are. Oh yeah, it ran out of uh, memory on the camera, but yeah, you can see, it looks very nice, lit up. That's just a... Put the light out a moment. Very sweet, very cute. Very nice. Little unicorn. Mm. There's a tiny little on this one. I like the pink and white. It's very pretty.